A protester was in critical condition Friday after setting themselves on fire outside the Israeli consulate in Atlanta, authorities said. A security guard who tried to intervene was also injured. A Palestinian flag found at the scene was part of the protest, Atlanta police chief Darren Shierbaum said at a news conference that he added that investigators did not believe there was any connection to terrorism and none of the consular staff was ever in danger, we do not see any threat here, he said. We believe it was an act of extreme political protest that occurred. Authorities did not release the protester's name, age or gender. The person set up outside the building in the city's Midtown neighborhood on Friday afternoon and used gasoline as an accelerant, Atlanta Fire Chief Roderick Smith said the protester was in critical condition, with burn injuries to the body. A security guard that tried to stop the person was burned on his wrist and leg, Smith said. Shierbaum said police are aware of heightened tensions in the Jewish and Muslim community and have stepped up patrols at certain locations, including the consulate. Terrorism. At this location, uh, we do believe at this time, based on the evidence that we have, the information that is readily available for us, this was likely an extreme act of political protest that occurred here today. And as the fire chief stated, the individuals that are injured is a, uh, the individual that was uh, carrying out a protest and a security guard that tried to stop uh, the act to save the individual's life uh, was injured uh, when the fire started. The uh, community is safe. Um, this department is w aware of the tensions that are present right now in the Jewish community and in the Muslim community. Uh, we actually have dedicated patrols that are occurring at this location and at other Jewish and Muslim communities in the city. One of those officers were hit, was here and responded quickly uh, once the incident occurred. We continue to ensure that everyone is protected in Atlanta, Georgia, regardless of your religion, regardless of your heritage, regardless of your nationality. We have met with the Council General and her staff, both the Fire Chief and I did as well, as well as members of the uh, federal uh, diplomatic community. Uh, right now, we're not aware of any credible threat against this location, uh, against the, uh, embassy, the consular or its staff or anyone in this building. We believe this building remains safe, and we do not see any threat here. We believe it was an act of extreme uh, political protest that occurred.